That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Okay, so basically, I love, I know I keep throwing out other YouTubers while this is supposed to be like me, the interviewer, you know, like the, you're interviewing me, but um, there's another girl on here on YouTube that is named Jenna Brown, and she is also legally blind, and she um, doesn't talk about it much. She'll bring it up once in a while, like I try to, but mm -hmm. she, um, she doesn't talk about it much. She just knows herself as her and she just talks about what she loves. And that kind of made me really happy because I'm not gonna lie, when I came into the community, I was like, okay, all I gotta do is talk about blindness. But then, you know, blindness sometimes has its limits. And it literally does. And most of the time we're shouting to ourselves, like True. great point. Shouting to each other about what we're going through. And and it's not really that it's going to the sighted people like we think it is. It's really just going to us. And that helps build the community, but it's like not everyone wants to look at you as the visual impaired or blind person. We might think that but that's not the case some people just want to know oh you have a disability you do this that's fine so i just stick to being myself and doing posting what i love because the stereotype is like i'm not the stereotype i will never be the stereotype. i like that i like um, that i wasn't raised to be the stereotype i really wasn't honestly raised i say this a lot on other people's channels in my channel i really wasn't raised as a blind person so it was like I was raised, my, my, I think my fair way to phrase it is, I was raised as a sighted person, not in, while I'm not a sighted person. So I was raised in the sighted world, although I'm not a sighted person. Got you. Uh, I, I was part of, like, something like that, part of a, a mainstreaming program. And, yeah, exactly. And, and high, and, so it, was it at a certain point that you realized that you're not going to, uh, like, on your channels or within, you know, just ev your everyday living, that you're not just going to focus on blindness and just going to be Vika? You follow me or so, something? Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he's, I guess you're hinting at my video. <laughs> um, so there was, uh, I made a comment going back to what i actually just said about the sighted part the sighted mm -hmm. world i made a comment on one of lucy edwards videos about how she did something about the tactile markers on the ground mm -hmm. for O&M. i didn't know anything about it because like i said i wasn't really raised i wasn't right. raised in the community i don't really know anything about the community until i learned it from you guys mm -hmm. so i mess i you know i commented on her video and i was like i'm going completely blind um and it this was very helpful to me but then a lot of sighted people came on my channel and was like well you're not really like lucy when you talk about your blindness and i'm sitting here like not everyone is like lucy who talks about her blindness so i was like okay let me put out this video which you can if you check out my channel it's called i'm not a blind channel i just happen to be yep. blind i like that yeah and um it's basically like because i'm not a blind channel i if i was a blind channel i would have put blind in my name mm. if i was a visually impaired low vision i would put that in my name i'm vikachu i'm mm. i'm nothing more than just vikachu and what i'm on here for youtube is to do dancing and um do what i love now talking about the blindness is part of what i love but at the same time like i said there's limits so I just don't want to be a part of the stereotype where I'm just talking about my vision or, um, you know, oh, she's just blind. She can't do anything. You know, mm -hmm. like, I don't want to be a part of that. And that's a great point. I'm glad you mentioned that about the, the, the if you were blind, you know, uh, you, you would you would put blindness in front of your name or on your channel what do you think because there are some channels that are like that do you think that it sort of sends a bad uh kind of uh, notation uh to the side to the side of where when people do that or you know it, it, you know is it cool to do it does it hurt or help you know when people do like the blind lizzie blind such oh, and such yeah. i um so i think it's a little helpful to find for us if we want to find someone like you know like us in the community i don't think it helps because 
I have seen so many people reach out to me like you and um, a few others who mm-hmm. are popular and they're already reached their fame or like not even fame, but you know, they reached their goal mm-hmm. of success. And there's like, dang it, I wish I thought about this because I regret it now because they're known as the blind this or the blind that, that they're just like tired of talking about the blindness now. And they're like, I wish I didn't do that i wish i could break out of it but my community wants me to talk about this and i'm like there's never any time where you can just um there's never not a time where you cannot stop you know like you can <clears throat> stop now or you can just say hey for now on i'm gonna do this and that i mean mm-hmm. look at molly burke she doesn't have blind in front of her name but she's known as one of the most popular blind youtubers and she does what she likes and let me and let me let me uh let me uh, dwell on that for a second okay. with, with her. Do you think that um, that um, she really portrays blind people as, as as such, or she goes over the board, or briefly just tell me your opinion uh, and, and how her how you how you think her channel uh, is, okay. is portrayed? Okay, so for me, like when I got like I'm not gonna, like I told you earlier, I'm not. I wasn't really in the community at first until recently this past fall um and before i got into the community i knew molly burke someone sent me their video and was like oh my god is this how you see and i was like no but then i started re- looking at her videos and i was like i felt like finally someone understood and then um i don't think she she like she mentions it herself she doesn't portray every single blind person she portrays herself so i think a lot of people just put too much on her because she is a popular person that you will look for as a blind person but she, like she says she's not representing the whole blind community she's representing herself mm. as a blind person and that's kind of like i'm saying i want to do that too i don't want to represent the whole community i just want to represent myself um but i personally i love molly i love that she's girly i love that she does fashion because not a lot of people like fashion like it's like me with the dancing mm. as soon as i tell a blind person that i do dance videos the first response you wouldn't believe is well i can't watch that so i can't subscribe to you yep and, and, like, and that's oh, so great. that's so like the, the young kids and that's that's so lame i mean come on man yeah yeah, yeah exactly so it's like okay that's I think, fine i think you're on your way to some some good things and i and the fact that you don't put or didn't put blind in your name you know, because what, what happens is it's, it's very hard to change that like you said because you've already developed an audience you know if you come yeah. out of blind Ryan, blind Ryan, blind Anthony then you say oh no I want to change my you know your whole format change yeah. so you have to look at yourself before you actually come out and, and decide how you want to portray yourself or what image you want to put and the reason why I brought up the other channel or mentioned Molly is because I, I just want to get your opinion in terms of do you think she adequately portrays blind people as such so um do you, it's, and speaking of uh, um, uh, uh, portraying and everything do you have we, we did speak on, on how people are compared how do you feel when people compare you to uh, maybe uh, other blind people and what have you does that make you pissed off actually no um I just it's it I don't think I ever actually came to that conclusion mm-hmm. yet like I don't think I ever had someone truly compare and now I had people ask me because they like my dance team they watch few members watch Molly or some of them watch Lucy so they're like they'll ask me a few questions here and there but they don't actually compare me right I like yeah so, that's, that's cool. so that that's the best part about it um so Truthfully, I don't really get mad about it when they bring up these YouTubers and they're like curious because mm. I think one time Lucy did a video on what she sees and it was like fireworks and my friend was like, so is this how you see? And I was like, yeah, in my right eye. Yeah, but not in my left eye. And then they asked me like, so what can you say? I was like, that's a loaded question. So wait till I get, um, wait till I see you again and I'll explain better. But Cause, uh, go ahead. So, cause sometimes you don't know, like, um, it's just hard because the loaded is what you can see is a loaded question, you know. So, but I like the fact that people are, would ad- they address you if they want to know. They don't already uh, assume that okay, Vicar Chu uh, 
you know, they're making comparison with her with other blind people. I like the fact that they mm-hmm. ask, they they do ask, and then you you politely, you know, tell them whatever you need to tell them and whatnot, and, and that that helps educate, um, you know, the masses or the other side, the, the sighted world in terms of what they need, want to know about uh, blind people. But yeah, because I um I understand what you're saying because I noticed that when I am on TikTok, mm-hmm. and this is no shame towards anyone on TikTok, I just yep. noticed that. When there's someone who says something the wrong way, it could be like even a blind person themselves and they say it the wrong way or make a joke, the train comes on and everyone is like jumping on them and it's sad, it's so sad. And I'm so used to like, um, I'm so used to being the person who nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I'm the first blind person I'm so used to being that way Mm -hmm. so I always try even if I don't think about it somehow in some way my mind is always like but other people might not do this um I remember I remember when I was working at Kroger Mm -hmm. and there was a lady who came up to me and she asked me where was this and I did the sighted thing I literally pointed Mm -hmm. and that's something we all hate Mm -hmm. we all hate and she goes sweetie i am legally blind i cannot see where you're pointing and i said oh i'm so sorry mm-hmm. i'm so used to just doing what everyone else is is um uh, is um and i said i'm sorry i don't even know why i did that i hate doing that myself i mm-hmm. hate people when they do it to me mm-hmm. and i apologize and i said i'm legally blind too and i can help you and i showed her where to go and but at that moment i was like oh my gosh another instance where i do something and some of us don't notice 